Hello and welcome to Telluride Real Estate News. I'm Robert Stenhammer, Broker Associate for Telluride Real Estate Corp, Christie's International Real Estate. Today, I'm gonna to give you a Telluride Real Estate Market new home construction update. Many of my clients recently have inquired and asked on the options of purchasing an existing home versus buying land and building a new home. And it's a very interesting question, one that definitely deserves analysis to fulfill your real estate objectives. One thing to note is I'm talking about new home construction here, residential, not commercial or condominium development, which is a much different animal. The equation that we use when we talk about costs of new home construction is the cost of the land plus hard costs plus soft costs equal the total project costs for your new home construction. Let's go through these one by one. First, let's talk about land. Right now in today's market, there in Telluride and Mountain Village, there's actually over 100, just over 100 lots available for sale. In the town of Telluride, it's a national historic landmark. Land is at a premium. They're rapidly approaching buyout and lots are small. You'll find 0.3 to 0.5 acres will cost about a million and a half dollars. But well worth it if you want to be in the incredible, world famous town of Telluride. In Mountain Village, there's a lot more choice. Just over 86 lots available. A little bit larger, about three quarters of an acre, will cost you around a million dollars. Outside of Telluride and Mountain Village, the ski ranches, Aldosoro Ranch, will find you much larger lots at a greater price and still have privacy and access to Telluride and Mountain Village. Great values in ski ranches and Aldosoro where there's about 20 lots combined total available. One item to note is if you're looking to build a mountain contemporary home, I would suggest Mountain Village or Aldosero as their architectural review gu <coughs> excuse me, guidelines support this new construction which we're seeing a lot of in the last year or two. Next, hard costs. Hard costs are the actual costs of construction Factors there that have increased the price in recent years of the availability of labor and also the fact that materials are now mostly imported to Telluride for new home construction. Hard costs, actual hard costs for construction, generally going to run between 450 to 600 a foot. Next are soft costs. Soft costs include architectural and engineering fees which can run approximately 10% of the total project costs. And then municipal development fees, including tap fees, water and sewer, as well as building permits and construction mitigation fees, which can run about 15 to 20% of the total project costs. So at the end of the day, when you compare existing homes versus new home construction, I think you know they're, they're pretty similar. The question I think owners need to ask themselves is if they're willing to put in significant time and energy in the design process and also be patient to wait up to 18 months for construction once municipal approvals have been granted. But if you do choose new home construction, I think there's a great potential for appreciation as well as what I'm most excited about for you and your family, generations to come, to enjoy an incredible family gathering place in this wonderful little hamlet in southwest Colorado called Telluride. I hope this information has been helpful and useful in your understanding of the Telluride real estate market. I'm Robert Stenhammer, broker associate for Telluride Real Estate Corp, Christie's International Real Estate. I invite you to visit my website at TellurideRealEstates.com and like my Facebook page, Telluride Real Estate News. I'm wishing you the best of days from beautiful Telluride, and I look forward to talking with you soon. Thank you.